What's up, everybody? It is week seven of Testimony Tuesday. So basically, in the last episode, I talked to you guys about when I physically felt the Holy Spirit come inside of me. And the video kind of got sh cut short a little bit. So if you haven't seen the entire video, you should definitely click on the link in my bio so you can go to my YouTube channel. And that was definitely an amazing video. And I'm still amazed at how that all happened. But in this week episode, I'm going to talk about the transition from that period on when God started to speak to me more often. So I definitely still felt extremely different. Like I was really nice, just a better transition for me. Everything just felt more relaxed. I didn't feel really stressed about anything. I just knew that that was a different experience and it would definitely allow me to feel more calm to my day-to-day -day life. From that point, I moved into a new apartment and my mom came up here to decorate my place. Everything was going well. I Once she left, I needed to make a few more adjustments and had a lot of more things that I needed to get for my place. So me and my friend decided to go to Walmart to actually get a TV for my place. And then once we got it, we realized that both of our cars were too small to actually fit the stuff inside. <laughs> so we had to wait for my other friend to come bring her Jeep. And while we're outside waiting, I was looking at him and I started to get like this tingling sensation inside of my stomach. And it kind of felt similar to butterflies, but a lot stronger. And when I was looking at him, God spoke to me and said, trust him. And when he said that, I like started laughing. And then my friend was like, what? And I just like, nothing, nothing. And he was like, tell me what? Because the reason he did this is because he knew the things that I had talked to him about in the past that had been happening in my life. So he knew something had happened or I had spoke to God about something. So he wanted to know exactly what it was. And I didn't want to tell him. And at the same time, I was still like surprised that that just happened to me because this is only like the second time I heard God's voice like loud and clear. Because in the past few months, my grandma had told me that he would start to speak to me and show me things but I didn't know it would have been at this level. So it was a lot different for me and it caught me by surprise. And then I started to cry, <laughs> but it wasn't like sad crying. It was like crying to where like, I cannot believe this is my life. Like this is happening. Then I finally told him what happened once I calmed down. And then he was like, you know what's funny? When you were looking at me, I felt like a tug in my stomach there. like." He kind of described the same feeling that I felt in my stomach. So basically God allowed me to read his spirit and he was telling me about him and to trust him because he wasn't a bad person at all. Even though I already knew that, but it was just confirmation from God. Okay, when I was home, I was resting. And during my sleep, I started to have like dreams, but they would be like to a different extent. It wouldn't be the same type of dreams that I was used to when I'd be like, oh, this dream is kind of pointless. I mean, it didn't really mean anything. But the dreams that I started to have were like more extreme and I could remember them like scene by scene exactly what was happening. I could remember the faces and everything. So in this dream, I was basically getting ready for a competition. Like it was a competition day and basically I guess the guy who I had to compete against, he tried to set me up so that way I couldn't make it to the competition. And I didn't know that what was happening at first, but later on I found out. So it started out with me at like this park and it was a lot of people out in the park. And basically someone came up to me and I didn't know who they were. It was a new face. And they basically were like talking. And then after we finished the combo, they kind of like did like a little dap up. And then at the end, kind of like put their arm on my back. And when they put my arm, their arm on my back, I felt like a pressure and it felt like something had stuck to my clothing because I had on a jacket. And then once they finished, they whispered in my ear and said, boom. And when they said that, I hurry up and took the jacket off and then I threw it. But when I threw it, the jacket went like 200 meters away from me. And then once it landed on the ground, it blew up so good thing I took the jacket off and then when I turned around to look at them 
to see like where the person went they were in a far distance away from me now and they were like with a group of people it was like four of them and they were like walking off like kind of like sneaky and looking like dang the plan failed so after this happened i walked to go tell someone about it and i didn't really know who the person was but they were like really strong built like very muscular and they were like listening to what i had to say and by the time i finished telling the story about what just happened they got like real upset like they were playing no games and the face that they made was like really intense so they decided to walk to me i mean walk with me to the next destination because i guess i had to meet up at this building for the competition so while i'm walking to the building they took the journey with me and the whole time like they were walking really quick like like had a mission they were definitely eager to get to the place and find out who had exactly planned to stop me from getting there so then they got to this point where it was a tunnel outside and it was kind of like similar to like a forest and we had to go through that part to actually get to the building at the entrance there was these two tall black skinny figures and they were like waiting there for me but when they actually saw the spirit that was walking with me they got really afraid and like scattered and ran like super fast and disappeared like they got out of there and then i looked back to see why they were running so fast and it was because the face that the muscular figure was making at them was like i they would get torn apart if they bothered me so they definitely like got out of the way and i got to the destination and i walked in the door and the guy who i had to compete against he was looking at me like what like he saw a ghost he was like how did you get here and then i was like wow i put my arm around him i was like you didn't have to do that i mean it's just a friendly competition uh don't ever feel the need to actually do anything wicked to come against me i mean i would never do those type of things to you and basically he kind of felt better about it after that and then that's when i woke up so when i woke up from the dream i realized that god was actually allowing me to see things that would potentially happen to me in my career but the good thing about it is i actually saw that he was protecting me because he was walking with me and he's the one who allowed me to take the jacket off and throw it that distance away from me even though the evil spirits were trying to come against me god was still with me each and every step of the way he's the one who allowed the tall skinny black figures which were evil spirits demons he allowed them to scatter from out of my presence even when they thought that they were about to set me up and gang up on me so then i started to uh start back fall training and I went back home to my sports doctor to go into the hyperbaric chamber because I know that like allows my body to flush out and recover from intense workouts that I've been doing in the fall so I went back there and while I was there he wanted me to try this new type of thing and basically it was a electromagnetic bed that vibrates and then he had me put on these headphones that play these type of waves throughout and it kind of sounded similar to yoga music but if you listen deeply you can hear like the wave in the background like boom 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 and i didn't know what it was called or anything but i did it and it put me into like a deep sleep and i felt like well recovered and rested like better than i ever had before so then a few months after this i never kind of did that again but i was on my instagram and i was scrolling down and this ad popped up basically with this guy talking about how your brain looks on an EKG when it's not in sync versus how it looks when it is in sync and I'll add the video in so you guys can hear about it I discovered that the brain becomes immeasurably more powerful when the two hemispheres are synced up and it makes sense right this is what your brain looks like on an EEG when the two sides of the brain are not in sync this is essentially what it looks like when someone tries to manifest a better life, but the brain literally won't let you no matter how hard you try. But what does it look like when both sides of your brain are operating on the same frequencies? Well, it looks like this. 
Notice the amazing difference? Just wait till you experience it. So the video basically was talking about all these good things about what could happen if your body actually was on point because of your brain sending the proper signals out throughout your whole body. So I wanted to know more about it, so I pressed learn more. When I actually got to the end of the article, they told me that the waves were called theta waves. And in our brains, we have alpha waves, beta waves, gamma waves, delta waves, and theta waves. The theta state is basically the best one. And I'll read the benefits that it has when you actually have your mind in theta. So of the five frequencies, beta, alpha, theta, delta, and gamma that our brain experiences, the theta brain wave range is the one in which the body and mind's natural self-healing processes are activated and optimized. Theta brain waves are present during sleep, relaxation, dreaming, meditation, and hypnosis. Theta brain waves can be a source of creativity, intuition, increased memory, and enhanced concentration. When theta brain waves are induced by certain mental practices and specialized brain entertainment products like the healing transformations recording, they lower stress and anxiety levels as well as facilitate healing and growth. Theta is an important wave not only because it facilitates the ideal mental, psychological state of, for healing, it also enables us to access the power and wisdom of our unconscious mind that is normally inaccessible in more alert states. Basically, I'm gonna put a link so you guys can actually read those categories into great detail because it explains them in a better perspective. I'm reading this article. I started, I went on YouTube because I didn't wanna pay for the CD that they tried to make me pay for to listen to the Theta Waves. So I went on YouTube to see if they actually had it there. And when I went there, I found it and they had like eight hour videos so those are the ones i started to listen to to go to sleep and one day i listened to the theta waves while i had my airpods on and i would sleep to them i would cut it down so that way it wouldn't be too loud but just enough so i could hear it and while i'm sleeping with it i find myself like waking up in another place that i wasn't used to and the first thing that happened was I was outside, like at this house, it was like a lot of people there. And my older sister, she gave me a baby and it was a girl. Then she like took the baby away. Then she gave me another baby and it was a boy. And then after she took the babies away from me, I saw this moon and it was like a real zoomed up vision of it. And the moon was like full and it was gray. And then they had this symbol on it, and it was a Hamza symbol, which kind of looked like a hand, and it had an eye by the palm. And I didn't know what that meant. But then once that went away from the moon, it was another symbol, which was a cross. And from the cross, like, light burst out. And then once the moon went away, there was a sun rising. And usually the sun rises really slow. But in this dream, the sun was, like, rising super fast, and I didn't understand what was going on, but I ended up on an elevator with my grandma and my little sister. And once I got off the elevator, it stopped on the 14th floor. We got off and I decided to turn around to look back in the elevator because the elevator doors were still wide open. My grandma and my little sister kept walking ahead of me. But when I turned around, the doors were wide open and then I saw a super bright, white angel flying through the elevator super fast like choo, 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 choo. and it was like just going crazy in there and then it ended up stopping in place and I was just looking like and it didn't have a, a face or arms or legs or anything it just had super bright white wings and then the body shape of it was like a cylinder and it was just bright light and I was just looking and I said grandma grandma come here look look and of course, I could feel her like coming to me. And when she got there, it disappeared and vanished because I guess it wasn't for her to see. But then we started to walk in this room down the hall and it was like some two beds in there. And when I was like explaining the story to my grandma, I was like, 
did you see that? It was an angel. And then I knew it wasn't her. It was a different voice. And it said, no, but I did see that demon on the side of your bed. And I knew that was the enemy trying to make me afraid from what I just saw. But I just said the blood of Jesus and everything was fine. And I didn't have anything to worry about. So the next day after I had this dream, I read my Bible and I read Isaiah 60 and it started at verse 19 and I'll read the passage to you guys. No longer will you need the sun to shine by day, nor the moon to give its light by night. For the Lord your God will be your everlasting light and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set, your moon will not go down. For the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your days of mourning will come to an end. All your people will be righteous. They will possess their land forever. For I will plant them there with my own hands in order to bring myself glory. The smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation. At that time, at the right time, I the Lord will make it happen. And when I read this verse, it like made me open my eyes like why wow, like wow i literally just had a dream the night before about the sun the moon and my family was all in the dream and now i read my bible the next day and this is exactly what the word was speaking to me so i definitely knew god was speaking to me through that dream and allowing me to know that this would be a new transition period for me and my family because we had been struggling so much beforehand so after all these things started to happen in my life started to transition into a whole new journey the next chapter but after this experience when i would listen to the theta waves i would not even be sleeping i could be in my room or even in the living room and i would play it on my tv from youtube and the more i'm sitting there and i would start to pray i would hear god start to speak to me and he would speak to me and tell me like a lot of things that was going to happen in my life or he would talk to me about other people and he would say, write it down. So I started to write down this log in my notes and it's called Spoken Words from the Lord. And I have the notes with the original date. So when it happens, I'm gonna screenshot it and post it on my social media with the date and the accomplishment. So that way people can know that this is what has been going on for these past few years. Sometimes I used to only get like an hour of sleep, but when I would listen to the theta waves, it would feel like I had eight hours of recovered sleep. And it also would make me feel a lot more in tune with my spiritual side. Like whenever I would go outside, of course I knew that God was in control and he was the one who allowed me to be able to access these theta waves and I would never put it on the pedestal to say that these are the reason why this is happening. I always rounded it back to say, God is the reason for everything that's been happening in my life. And that's the reason why I got a lot stronger on my spiritual side of this. And he would start to speak to me a lot more and it would become a lot clearer. And I would learn more about the actual spirits that people would have inside of them and exactly how to deal with it. So then one day from practice, I was driving back home and I was listening to Delta waves, which are a lot slower and it makes you get into deep relaxation. And I was on the way home driving and my hand was in the sun. And I just remember I was just saying Jesus over and over. And then the sun was beaming on my hand but then it felt like my hand had got like a super charge and I don't under, really understand exactly how to describe it, but it felt like my hand was tingling really bad. And then on its own, it just closed up super tight and made a fist. And when that happened, I felt like super strong and felt like a whole bunch of power go throughout my whole entire body. That was the first time that I felt something happen with my hand and I remember my Grandma told me God said that it was power in my hand. I just didn't exactly know at the time what he meant by that. But after seeing what happened to my hand in the car, I knew something was up with that. So then a few days later, I was out on my balcony and 
when I was out on the balcony, I was praying, telling God to change me into a strong man of God, lead me down the path that he wants for me to be on. And I trust him completely and I freely give myself over to him and I'll do whatever he asks of me. So after I finished saying that, once again, my hand felt super like tingly. And then it did the thing again, but this time it felt so strong that I could do nothing but stand up and push my hand out like this over the balcony. And when I did that, I felt like power like come from out of my hand. And it sounds wild, I know, but from the way I felt it inside of my body, I definitely knew that what he had spoken to my grandma was definitely coming true because I knew for a fact I had never felt like that before until after this experience. And basically, this story transitions into when I went to San Diego because I remember on my TV a few years before this happened, my TV switched channels and the remote was like far away from my bed and I was just like, what? And then when it switched channels, it had San Diego and big letters. And I remember my grandma telling me that God spoke and told her that my house would be in the hills and a lot of more great things that I don't want to share right now, but it will come soon. Basically, my TV was saying San Diego and I couldn't change the channel until after it went away. And this past year, I went to San Diego and I definitely experienced a supernatural experience that I will never forget. And it dealt with the power that was in my hand. And I will explain that to you guys on the next episode. So stay tuned and I'm definitely glad that I could share another piece of my life with you. And I'll see you guys soon.